Bitcoin in America from Costa Coffee. And if you don't know Costa Coffee, they're the second biggest coffee chain in the world. They have about 3,500 stores in 31 countries. The reason why you may not have heard of them, they are never sold their coffee in America till now. This is their signature blend. Supposedly it's one of their best blends. Uh, it came, I, I could only order it ground. It didn't have a whole bean option. It does have a best use by date. So I would kind of look at this as a second wave coffee maybe. Uh, anyway, I mean signature blend. On their website they said they spent, or they tried 121 different recipes blending different coffees until they came up with this one. So uh, hopefully there's some good coffee here. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to cup it, uh, cold brew it, pull some shots. I'm going to do a V60 drip on it. And we're going to see how good it is. I'll be right back. Mm, welcome back. I have been drinking this uh, Costa Coffee Signature Blend for the next for the last day. And I'm going to let you know what I thought about it. I have uh, analyzed it, cold brewed it, V60, cupped it, pulled espresso shots with it. And uh, I'm going to say they didn't offer a whole bean option. So I had to do the drip grind. But you know, I reground it to get my espresso shot. So I'm kind of disappointed they didn't offer a uh, whole bean option for a uh, company like that. Anyway, I'm gonna let you know what I thought. So it made a decent cup of coffee. This is a V60. Had a very light aroma, but light notes of raspberry, sandalwood. Uh, had a sort of a nutty walnut taste to it. Sort of flat on acidity, very mild acidity, um, very little sweetness, a little bit, but it had very little bitterness. Had no bitterness in the cup. I got a slight bitterness on the shot. I don't run it. I gotta say, I do not recommend it for shots. And on the cold brew, it was kind of flat tasting too, so. Don't think I particularly recommend it for uh, that. But then for a regular morning, straight cup of joe, you know, for a $10 a pound free shipping coffee off their website, it's pretty decent. It's okay. I'm not gonna say it's great. I'm not even gonna say maybe I wouldn't even put it in the real good, but it's, well, like I said, if you're on a budget or you know ten dollars a pound you know it's a very good coffee for ten dollars a pound particularly with the free shipping right now so i'm going to let you know how i scored it oh yeah on the analyze it was a 60 which makes it a city full city coffee uh i gave it an eight on aroma it was very light nothing very really much uh, on the brewing i don't know what the age, you know, they had a best use on date, which is about six months from now. So uh, anyway, it made very little bloom when I brewed it in the V60. Didn't really bloom much, but anyway. Uh, on the break, sort of hints of sandalwood. Uh, like I said, walnut. Uh, Flavor-wise, I gave it an 8.25. Aftertaste, a little bit of, you know, all right on the aftertaste, but still I only gave it an 8.25. Like I said, it's kind of flat on the acidity. I gave it an eight. Uh, sweetness, didn't have a slight sweetness to it, but not much. So I gave it an eight. Uh, bitterness, like I said, I didn't really get any bitterness in the cup or bitterness in the uh, cold brew or the cupping. But like I said, I did get some bitterness coming out of the shot. So like I said, that's why I would recommend it for shots. So I gave it a 9.25. Uh, mouthful, then again, 8.25, not super great, but not bad. 
balance because it was light on the acidity. I gave it an 8.5. Uh, defects, odors, taste. There's nothing I found any defects, no odd odors to this coffee, so it scored a 10 on that. And overall drinkability, I gave it an 8.25. So like I said, if you're just looking for a good morning, whatever, sipping coffee for the day, uh, you know, you keep around for parties for yourself. Like I said, you know, like if you're on a little bit of a budget. Like I said, it was $10 a pound, free shipping, which is about half the price of what I pay for almost every other coffee I get. You know, my other coffees I get are $20, $22, $25. So for the price, it's a very good coffee. So anyway, that's my review. And uh, like I said, I'm still waiting for that coffee from... Uh, James Hoffman's uh, Roastery in London to come in. Uh, uh, anyway, the Surprise Espresso should be here soon. And I am going to review that next week. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do if you want to see more coffee reviews. Uh, if you've got any value out of this review, please hit the like button. It really helps for people to find the channel. So anyway, have a good day.